Hey there, uh, my name's David Calhoun. I'm a front-end developer and I like to do stuff on mobile. So here I have just an ordinary phone. Uh, this is an iPhone obviously. This is an iPhone 3GS, not that it matters. Um, what does matter, the OS is running 4.3, so iOS 4.3. Um, but what I'm showing today applies to all previous versions as well. So what we have here are, are two different links. So I should have probably had a background color highlight these, but these are these are buttons or, or links essentially. Um, so when when I tap on it, it's going to increment the counter. Okay, simple enough, right? Uh, same same thing goes for the second link, the second button. Okay, so we have them both at three now. Uh, so what's the difference? What's what's the big deal? Okay, <laughs> why am I wasting my time watching this video? Essentially, right? Let me get right to the point. Let me try to tap on this one as fast as I can. So you can see, even though I'm tapping fast, it's not registering all of the clicks. So this this event is tied into the on click handler. This one on the top, just a regular on click. But it's not. It doesn't seem to be getting fired all the time. Uh, let me try the same thing with the one below. So normal speed works, right? Let me try really fast. So what's up with that, right? What's going on here? Why is this one actually registering? You know, every click event. Uh, as it turns out, so so the difference is, <laughs> this one is a simulated click. Now, as it turns out, there's a bit of a delay on the on-click event before it's actually fired um, and I'll show you why that's probably a good why there's probably a good reason behind it I mean Apple isn't stupid right they know how to develop nice interfaces and they have reasons for everything that happens um, any delay that is in here is purposeful and it's built in uh, so um, let, let me just explain real quick so I've already said that this is a regular on-click of um, event handler on the top here. Uh, if you've developed anything on touch devices before, you know that there's uh, on touch start event as well as on on touch um, move and on touch end. Um, this is what I'm tapping into here. So on touch start, I'm actually uh, I have a handler attached down here, and in a little clever method that I didn't create, other people have done this before. Um, it, it's synced into the on touch start event and it fires off a fake click event on this same element. It, essentially, I'm simulating an on click event, but the simulated on click event fires faster than an actual on click event. Now, hopefully, that makes sense. In other words, I have an on click on here and I have an on touch start on here, which fires an on click, and there's a bit of special handling. There's some tweaks you have to do in the code to get it to work right. Um, so if you're watching this on YouTube, you can click on the link um, that would be down there in the description. If you're not watching on YouTube, hopefully you can find the blog post on this because I'm going to write up a big explanation and I'm going to have some sample code. Um, so so what's going on here? Why, you know, why is this so slow? Why didn't they just make this fast? I think there's, uh, there's some good reasons. One of the big things I found um, was in trying to scroll the page you can see that when you scroll the page you don't want the links to be activated right so so say this is a link to another page right you happen to click on top of it but when you scroll you don't want that link to activate so there's a bit of a delay right so it's actually evaluating it seeing okay they're scrolling they don't want the click event to fire off so there's a bit of delay for that Whereas on my simulated, um, my my simulated on click, you can see I scroll it, and after I'm done scrolling, actually my on click gets fired off. So there might be ways to get around that. I was trying to get around that by uh, a couple things. I, I'm not clever enough to <laughs> to figure that out. I, I'm sure other people have done that and built that into libraries, but. This is, I think, the main reason. You know, this is getting fired at the end. You know, when I when I let go, um, and you don't want that when you're scrolling the page. So, pre more preferable, Apple thought, 
to add a delay in than to have a on-click fired when you didn't want it to. And that makes sense, I think. As long as you get the delay, just try it. So people aren't going to be wildly, you know, clicking on links on, you know, normal web pages. You know, it seems to have worked for them well so far. I think the problem comes into play when you want to make games and things where you want the interface to be very responsive. Something like that, right? You want that's a that's a game type interaction, something very instant. Uh, so just a heads up if you ever run into that problem, you need to simulate your events. <laughs> so yeah, read up on the blog post. Hope this was interesting. All right, so long.